Hello, how are you doing? In this video, I'm going to talk about ML model training versus ML model inference. There are really more steps here, but for this conversation, we will simplify the ML model lifecycle into two major phases. The first phase is the training of the model. The second phase is using the model to make inferences provided some input data. Many understand conceptually what training a model is, but what exactly is inference? Well, inferences are predictions for a predictive ML model. For generative AI systems, such as LLMs, inferences are the new synthetic content that are generated. Okay, let's go into more detail. Training is the phase where machine learning models learn from a data set by adjusting its parameters to minimize error and improve performance on a specific task. The training phase is very resource intensive. It requires significant computational resources, such as GPUs or TPUs, and large amounts of data to optimize model parameters through iterative processes like back propagation. The training phase produces a trained model with optimized parameters that can be used for making predictions on new data. The training phase typically takes longer and can be a one-time or periodic process depending on the need for model updates or retraining with new data. Inference is the phase where the trained model is used to make predictions or decisions based on new, unseen input data. The inference phase is less resource intensive. It requires fewer computational resources compared to training since it involves applying a learned model to new data. Inference can be executed in batch mode or real-time mode. In batch mode, a process takes stored input data and executes it against the model, saving each of the respective output results. In real-time mode, inferences need to be performed in real-time, especially in applications like online recommendation systems, autonomous driving, or real-time language translation. Inference is designed to be scalable and efficient to handle potentially large volumes of prediction requests in a production environment. In the case of generative AI, an LLM uses patterns and knowledge it learned during training to generate new synthetic content. For instance, an LLM can generate text, answer questions, translate languages, or summarize documents based on input data. Examples of LLM inference use cases include generating text responses for chatbots or auto-completing sentences in word processors, providing code suggestions in development environments, or personalizing content recommendations in applications. Okay, so now you should understand the difference between model training and model inference. All AI ML models need to first be trained using training data. And once trained, the ML model can be used in production to generate inferences. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other videos in the ML AI Knowledge Concepts playlist are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about the innovation with the cloud, machine learning, AI, but don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about it. And with that, have a great day.